Here we go, weather for Weather Geeks time here on Monday, August the 3rd, 2015. Hope you had a good weekend and a good Monday so far. Uh, for most of us, it's been a pretty good day today. Now, we've had a few exceptions, especially down in Columbiana County. And if you watched my earlier videos today, we kind of pinpointed the far southern part of our viewing area as having a much better chance of seeing showers and storms than the rest of the region. As I record this at about 7.22 p.m., a heavy thunderstorm uh, towards the Weirton area, heading over towards uh, Pittsburgh as well, and there's one lonely shower in central parts of Columbiana County around Lisbon. That's about it. Otherwise, it's a pleasant evening. Be another nice evening to check out the International Space Station at about uh, 10 p.m. this evening. Now, it'll be lower in the sky than the last few passes. I'll, I'll post about it on social media. Meanwhile, heavy storms. These have been hailers in southwest Ohio. A couple of warnings still out on those. But don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the uh, on the current radar because most of you will be watching well after. But uh, drier air is on the way. Here's that pocket of drier air up here. It's tracking our way for tomorrow. So say goodbye to the 60s dew points that uh, we snuck up into today. Dew points tomorrow mostly in the 50s should be a very comfortable day. Now tomorrow's probably not bright and sunny. I do think there'll be some afternoon clouds around for our uh, Tuesday. Let's take a look at uh, the surface map tomorrow afternoon. Uh, right about here, <clears throat> we've got uh, kind of a northwest flow in the upper levels uh, that's going to lead to some instability. So there'll be some fair weather cumulus clouds going up uh, tomorrow afternoon. But don't you know that's not going to deter us from having a very very nice afternoon. I do think we stay dry. There could be a sprinkle up in the higher terrain of northern Pennsylvania, southern New York, but I think that is about it. In fact, let's take a look at the upper levels just real quick here. Uh, show you the overall pattern. Across the uh, the uh, lower 48 states and into Canada, this you know, kind of looks like winter with our upper low over Hudson Bay, little disturbances rotating around it, keeping the hot air locked out here. When you've got this northwest flow aloft, you know, you're just not going to get hot. Uh, so uh, tomorrow, again, very, very comfortable by the standards of, you know, early August. It could be a lot hotter at this time of the year. I think Wednesday is also going to be a nice day. Let's uh, zoom ahead to Wednesday, which is the 5th. There we go. Here's the NAM model Wednesday afternoon. What we have to keep an eye on now as we head into Wednesday night and especially into Thursday is this disturbance out here. The models are having a hard time diagnosing what to do with this. Um, and that'll have big forecast implications for us on Thursday. So after a decent day Wednesday, here's the NAM model for midday Thursday. Now if you take this literally, it is a rainy day on Thursday. You have low pressure over Evansville. And this is not shower and thunderstorm activity, just a steady rain uh, in much of Ohio uh, by midday on Thursday. Here's the uh, late afternoon, just a rainy day. And if this were to be exactly right, it would also be a cool day. Here's the NAM temperatures uh, showing no better than 57 or 58 degrees on Thursday. So if the NAM were to be exactly right, which isn't very likely, Thursday could be a really lousy day with cool temperatures and rain. What about the other modeling? Well, here's the GFS. Uh, it has the low much farther to the north and not as distinct. Kind of, you could probably analyze the low out here instead of down here. And this would give us some showers and perhaps even some thunder because everything's farther north. We're in the more unstable air. Temperatures uh, on the GFS still cool, maybe 60s to around 70. Just not as cool as the NAM model. So those are just two models. And the, the European model, I can't show you that, but it takes everything down here and basically keeps us dry on Thursday. Canadian models kind of a little farther north. Our in-house model that we show you on TV, it's called the RPM. Uh, it has a miss for us on Thursday with the rain. So Thursday is a tough forecast. Uh, a range of possibilities going from the upper 70s to dry and dry to maybe no higher than the mid-60s and rainy on Thursday. Thankfully, it's only Monday. We've got plenty of time to fine-tune this. But you know, this, these are the challenges of being a meteorologist. You, you, there's a reason why the, these computer models uh, haven't taken our jobs, because hardly ever in agreement, and sometimes they disagree wildly, and our job is to make the best forecast with the information that we have. Uh, so given all the model uncertainty, I didn't go crazy with the temperature or the chance of precipitation in our TV forecast for Thursday. I made it a 60% chance of rain, uh, kept the temperature in the 70s, but there's room on either side of that for a lot of adjustment over the next couple of days. Well, whatever happens on Thursday, I think on Friday, it's not likely to be a wet day. Here's the GFS Friday suggesting that uh, we might have residual showers. Other models keep this to the east. I allowed for a shower Friday, but even this is still kind of a tough forecast. But 
you know, whatever happens at the end of the week, all the models are in pretty good agreement that the weekend's going to turn pretty nice. Here's Saturday. You can analyze a little bubble of high pressure out here. The moisture's out to the east, and we should start to warm up as we head into the upcoming weekend. And the upper level pattern's going to start to change as well. Let's show you uh, up at 18,000 feet what's going on here. Notice that big circular area, that upper low up around Hudson Bay, it's gone. A little trough here on the east, but no big parent upper low rotating around and sending cool air down. Our ridge starting to expand out here across the plains. That will allow a decent warm-up. Now, we're not going to turn hot. No 90 anytime soon, but as you can see on the GFS ensemble here, a nice trend as we head towards the weekend. Here's that cool day Thursday, and then by the weekend, we're up to about average, and maybe even above average by early next week. So uh, we have our work cut out for us this week with the forecast, but the longer range trends suggest that the middle of August is not likely to be hot, but it's also not likely to be as cool as it could be for a couple of days during midweek. That's tonight's weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks, as always, for watching, everyone. I'll see you tonight on 21 News at 11. Enjoy your Monday night. More Weather Geeks Tuesday evening, usually online between 7.30 and 8 o'clock.